Welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing a movie where a 27 year old Max meets a 43 year old Nora. They learn of the personal losses they are each a recovering from. It is the only with the time that they get attracted to each other and eventually fall for each of them. The film is 1990 released romantic drama and the title of the film is White Palace. 27 year old St. Louis advertising executive Max has completely shut himself off from the world in a two years since the auto accident that killed his wife Jenny. On the way to his friend's Neil's bachelor party, Max picks up flirty burgers from a dinner called White Palace. At the party, he discovers that the order is six burgers short and to ridicule of his friends, return to the restaurant to complain. In a moment that defines his initial character, Max declares it is a principle. He is roundly mocked by his friends. At the White Palace dinner, after a heated exchange occurs between Max and a 43-year-old waitress, Nora Baker, she refunds him. Max returns to the party but leaves upset and hurts to the bar where he runs into Nora. Drunk, she flirts with him, but he pushes her advances away and starts to leave. She senses he is upset, asks why, and discovers his wife died in a car crash. She discloses that she lost her young son to leukemia. The connection prevents him from leaving. They have few drinks and eventually he gives her lift home to the neighborhood in St. Louis, but drunkly crashes his car into her mailbox. She invites him to spend the night at her house, with a couch as his bed. Max starts dreaming about his late wife. After visiting his wife's grave on the second anniversary of her death, Max returns to the White Palace to watch a busy Nora from a distance. He visits her home with the pretext of replacing the broken mailbox, but instead they begin a relationship. Max becomes more relaxed and cheerful around Nora and at his work but remains reluctant to reveal their relationship to his family and friends. Nora firmly reminds him of their differences in age and social backgrounds. Nora is angry after Max as he lied to her about his friend's Neil's wedding that he didn't take her. They argue about how Max keeps their relationship a secret and that he is probably ashamed of being seen with her. Nora's sister Judy meets Max the following day and explains to him in Nora's absence how they were abandoned as a children and she left a younger Nora to feed for herself. Judy also explains that Nora's son drowned. Sometime later, Max finds Nora's house empty and a note explaining to him that she left and that he shouldn't come looking for her. He visits White Palace and is informed that Nora quit. He goes to a brunch with friends and meets Heldi Solomon but can't stop thinking about Nora. He then realizes that everyone around him seems stuck up and obsessed 
with their perfect upper middle class lives. He travels to New York to find Nora's sister Judy and is informed that Nora is a waitressing in a restaurant. Max finds Nora there and confesses his love to her, revealing that he quit his job and moved to New York to be with her. They reunite, kissing tenderly as a patron's of the restaurant looks on. This is all about this movie review. If you do like our videos, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.